our tutorial Double Exponential Smoothing Methods. Exponential smoothing methods consist of forecasts based on previous periods data with exponentially decaying influence the older they become. Their notation is ETS, which stands for Error, Trend and Seasonality, where each can be non, additive, additive damped, multiplicative or multiplicative damped. This topic is part of forecasting models with our curse. Feel free to take a look at curse curriculum by clicking link at description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. An example of double exponential smoothing methods is whole linear trend method which consists of forecast with linear trend pattern. For full reference, I recommend that you read Charles Holt, Forecasting Trends and Seasonal by Exponentially Weighted Averages, published by the Office of Naval Research Memorandum in 1957. Its ETS notation is AAN, in which error is additive, trend is additive, and there is no seasonality. As a formula, current period forecast is equal to previous periods level forecast plus h, which is the number of periods for which we are doing the forecast, multiplied by previous periods trend forecast. Previous periods level forecast is equal to an alpha level smoothing coefficient multiplied by previous periods data plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by second previous periods level forecast plus second previous periods trend forecast. Alpha level smoothing coefficient is a value between 0 and 1. Previous periods trend forecast is equal to a beta trend smoothing coefficient multiplied by previous periods level forecast minus second previous periods level forecast plus 1 minus beta multiplied by pre second previous periods trend forecast. Beta trend smoothing coefficient is a value between 0 and 1. Great, so let's go into R Studio so that we can study whole linear trend method with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within R Studio. In this tutorial, we'll be working within R Tutorial Double Exponential Smoothing Methods code file. The first step within the tutorial is to load its packages. This is done with the library command and for this tutorial we'll be using forecast. So we select the code line, click run or control enter on the keyboard which is equivalent. The next step is to create a double exponential smoothing methods data and this is done through data reading. So we create this variable named data which is equal to read.csv and within it we have the name of the data file double exponential smoothing methods data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values which is stored within the working directory. Comma header equals to true. So we select that code line and we click run or control enter on the keyboard. So that created a data object within the global environment as a data frame. So if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon that opens the data for us. This data has two columns, first of this dates and the second one SPY adjusted. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle which intends to replicate the standard Poor's 500 index. Adjusted because this includes adjusted close prices which were adjusted for dividends and splits. Notice data has a daily frequency and it's from the beginning of 2007 all the way into the end of 2015, therefore 9 years of data. So back into the code file, the next step is we're going to convert that data object into a time series type of object, which we're going to name SPY, and it's equal to TS type of object, in which we're going to select from the data, the second column, the one with the SPY adjusted close prices, comma, frequency equals to 21. So we are assuming here, for educational purposes, that the data has a monthly frequency, and approximating one month of data as 21 days, as we have daily data 
on a business calendar. So we select the code line and again click run or control enter on the keyboard and that creates SPY object which is stored again within the global environment. So the next step is we're going to delimit training and testing ranges. Training range is used for optimal parameters estimation and testing range is used for forecasting accuracy evaluation. So here first we create SPYT training range and we'll be using window function and from SPY we're going to select from the beginning of the time series and it's going to end at C four columns month 84 observation 19. That corresponds to the end of 2013. Therefore, we'll be selecting the first seven years of data as a training range. And then we are creating SPYF as a testing range. And again, we're using window function. And for the previously created SPY, in this case, it's going to start at here C with columns, month 84, observation 20. So it's going to start at the beginning of 2014. Therefore, the last two years of data as a testing range. Notice that this training and testing ranges delimiting is only included for educational purposes as an example and therefore can be modified according to your needs. So we select these two code lines, click run or control enter on the keyboard. So once we have the data ready, we can continue with double exponential smoothing methods calculation. In this case, we'll be calculating whole linear trend method with its ETS notation AAN additive errors, additive trend, no seasonality. So first of all, we're going to create this variable with which we are going to name hold and we'll be using hold function and notice that we are doing the estimation of the corresponding method with data from the training range. That's why it's SPYT, comma H, H is the number of periods for which we are going to do the multi-step forecast, which is 504 and that's the length of our testing range. Notice this is a multi-step forecast done at the beginning of the testing range for the full testing range in advance, therefore not using any of the testing range data. And then we're going to visualize this within a chart. We'll use plot function for the previously calculated hold and the title is going to be with main whole linear trend with its ETS notation method. And then we have for the Y or vertical axis label price and for X or horizontal axis label month. And last, we are going to add here as lines SPYF, which is the testing range data with LTY equals to three. So we have a dash type of line. So let's go ahead and select these three code lines and then again, click run or control enter on the keyboard. And right here we have the chart. So let's go ahead and zoom into it. So we have whole linear trend with its ETS notation, additive errors, additive trend, no seasonality the corresponding method on the vertical axis prices horizontal one month. Notice that this is the full length. And here, as we can see, the solid black line, that's the corresponding training range where we, we did our methods optimal parameters estimation. Then we have right here the solid blue line that corresponds to the multi-step forecast, which was done at the beginning of the testing range for the full testing range in advance, using the parameters previously estimated within the training range, but without using any of the testing range data. And we have its corresponding confidence intervals. And then the dash black line on the back that corresponds to the testing ring actual data. Excellent. So we're going to close this chart here. And now that we finish studying the calculation and visualization of whole linear trend method, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.